All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, what you have here in front of you is our bell schedule for the school year. And I wanted to discuss with you guys uh, what this looks like. And a lot of you already have questions about um, how does the schedule look like. And we have seven periods, but how come we have eight on your um, grade books and e-school? So, the answer is both yes and no. We do have technically eight periods. But if you can tell, you can see on your uh, e-school, it looks like this. For a scholar, this is how their schedule will look like, okay? So this is how their schedules look like. So how do we interpret this one? Well, first at 8.55, you know, from 8.10 to 8.45 core teachers, 8.55 core teachers will do their uh, planning time and then, you know, picking up with the students, the whole thing, 8.55 bell rings. All scholars have to be on their first period class. So for this particular student, this student will end up going to her fourth period class, whatever her fourth period class is. So in this particular case for this student, her, fourth, her first period class is 1402. So she will go, or he or she will go to 1402 first. That's the first period class. Then, 9.43 to 9.46 is only a three-minute transition time. And then we'll move on to second period. And then second period uh, starts at 9.46. Bell rings at 10.34. There's a 48 minutes. And then there's a transition. This is where it's, it changes a little bit from the original plan that we had uh, before HB 45.45. Now it says here, accelerated instruction block. For this time, we have 45 minutes of accelerated instruction. So this is where this student will end up going to this room right here for this student. 1707 is where this student is going to go. So that student is going to go here and then do uh, the lessons there. After that, if you are a sixth grader, after this, the bell will ring, right? And you will end up a transition. You will end up in, you will end up on to your lunch. So transition goes to only two, and then they go to lunch. Uh, the teachers will, sixth grade students, the teachers will walk them to the cafeteria. And that's why there's a built-in three minutes in there. So that way the teachers will not have their, uh, will have time to get the 30 minute lunch. And then from there, the teachers of their, their third period teacher will pick them up from the lunchroom, 11.55 to 11.58. And then their class starts at 11.58 and ends at 12.55. That is the third period, fourth period, fifth, sixth, and seventh. Now, the reason why we only are doing three-minute transition is because of this 45 minutes right here. We had no choice but to take away from our transition as opposed to taking away minutes from actual classes that we have. That is why we had to make a choice as to taking away minutes on transition as opposed to taking a minutes and instructional learning time. So if you can see here, that the seventh, uh, if you're in a seventh grade, this is going to be your bell schedule right here. And then if you're in eighth grade, this is your bell schedule for your lunches. So everything is all the same up until the in-betweener between two and three. The answer to the question is we could not do an eight periods in here where we can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because if we had to do that, we would have to redo the whole master schedule again, changing uh, every number, and we just can't do that to our counselors. So uh, this was the path of least resistance for us, that we will just insert the homeroom period somewhere in between, and it doesn't affect our uh, schedule by any means. It just shifted everything. So that's the reason why we did that, and this is the explanation for it. So the student, again, if I were to recap this, a scholar 
first period, they're going to go here. 14.02. Second period, they're going to go here. In between, after the second period, we're not going to call it third period, right? It's just in between of it, what we're going to have is our accelerated block schedule right here. In between this. This is where we go. And then after that, then we proceed to our regular uh, schedule of 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I even put in here a typical suggestion that we have, and this is a good example right here. Between 0 to 10 minutes, please don't let your students go to the restroom. The reason for that is that is the time we're doing our do now and the do no explanation. If you allow your scholars to walk around and go to the restroom while you're explaining your do now, they're gone already. They're not going to understand. They're going to ask you questions what y'all are doing. So hold them there. And here, yes, they can go to the restroom at this time. The 30 minutes in between, they can go here. And then the last eight minutes of the, of the day, again, no go for the restrooms because that is when you are really wrapping up your lesson and you're doing your exit tickets and making sure that you're under, they're understanding and you are understanding what they're learning or what they're not learning at that point. So hopefully, again, this uh, explanation is uh, clear enough. If you have further questions, just uh, talk to one of your APs or talk to me or send me an email. Uh, hopefully, this helps with our bell schedule. I am sending this to everybody right now uh, along with the video.